Hey everyone, this is Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. And today we are talking about the biggest mistakes that small business owners make with their QuickBooks Online bank feeds. Most of the mistakes that we see done in QuickBooks are come from the bank feeds, from lack of training with the bank feeds. So Andre, one of our team members here at 5-Minute Bookkeeping, is going to show you the biggest mistakes made with QuickBooks Online bank feeds. Take it away, Andre. Hello, everyone. This is Andre, and let's get started. Assuming that QuickBooks Online bank feeds automate bookkeeping. Wow, this bank feeds window is awesome. I can do everything from here, right? Well, actually, a major mistake that small business owners make with their bank feeds is assuming that the bank feeds are the only way to do bookkeeping in QBO. While the bank feeds are indeed very helpful, there are many other ways transactions can be entered in QuickBooks Online outside of the QBO bank feeds. Here at the 5-Minute Bookkeeping blog, we have many QBO tutorials to demonstrate the full functionality of QuickBooks Online. Clicking Add on every bank feed transaction. QBO users new to the bank feeds window may be tempted to start adding transactions in the bank feeds window at a whim. Click, 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 done, right? Unfortunately, those bank feed transactions are not yet properly categorized into QuickBooks. They will need to be reviewed and categorized before you click Add. And when your strategy is to just click Add on every transaction, your profit and loss report will have a bunch of transactions in uncategorized income and uncategorized expense. Let me show you how to properly add transactions in the QBO bank feeds window. First, carefully look at the transactions that are downloaded from the bank. Pay special attention to the transactions that show uncategorized income or uncategorized expense in the category or match column. Transactions defaulting to uncategorized income or uncategorized expense should be correctly categorized. Use the description and the pay fields to determine the right category for each transaction. For example, if a transaction was for a hotel and there is a hotel name in the pay or description field, then you might want to categorize that expense to travel. Remember, never categorize transactions to uncategorized income or uncategorized expense. Your tax accountant will thank you for it. Neglecting the bank feeds. Let's go through a simple scenario. Day one. Oh look, there's some transactions in my bank feeds window, but I'm going to add them later. One week later. Yes, I know I have transactions I need to work on, but I can't get to it today. Maybe later. One month later. One day, I'll work on my bank feeds. I promise. One year later. Somebody please help me. A major mistake that small business owners make is that they let the bank feeds accumulate for months at a time instead of working on them every day. You can easily manage your bank feeds by working on them for just five minutes a day. You probably don't have that much activity in your bank feeds on a daily basis. And you'll feel more productive tackling your bank feeds in bite-sized chunks. Adding transactions when you should be matching them. When you scroll through your bank feeds window, you may notice that some transactions say match next to them. When a transaction says match next to it, this means that QuickBooks has detected that this transaction may have already been entered in QBO. If the transaction has already been entered in QBO, generally, you would select match. But what happens if you add a transaction instead of matching it? Let's say that I recorded a $2,000 bill payment in QBO, and in the bank feeds, I see a money out transaction for $2,000, same amount as the bill. But instead of selecting match, what happens if I select add? By selecting add, I have inadvertently created a duplicate transaction. Duplicate transactions entered into QBO can snowball into a huge mess if they're not detected in time. A set of books with a large number of duplicate transactions would require a long and costly cleanup. So, don't do it. 
Matching the bank fees to the wrong transaction. Let's say you've recently paid a bill from Broshannon Insurance Agency with a check for $2,000 and you've recorded that bill payment in QBO. Meanwhile, you also have an open bill from Hicks Hardware and that bill is also for $2,000. When you go to the bank feeds window, you'll see a $2,000 money out transaction and you'll get two suggestions for a possible match. One is the $2,000 payment to Broshannon Insurance Agency. The other is a $2,000 open bill from Hicks Hardware. If you erroneously select the $2,000 open bill from Hicks Hardware instead of the $2,000 bill payment from Broshannon Insurance Agency and you click match, this will incorrectly record a bill payment in QuickBooks Online. By doing so, you have understated your bank balance by $2,000. Once again, you have an erroneous transaction which needs to be cleaned up. And a potentially angry vendor at Hicks Hardware who didn't actually get paid. Yes, it's true, the bank feeds window can be a hotbed for errors. But don't be afraid. At least now, you know the worst mistakes business owners make with the QuickBooks Online bank feeds. When done right, the bank feeds window is still the easiest and most convenient way to enter transactions. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Now back to you, Veronica. Thank you, Andre. If this content is helpful, make sure that you like this video, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my latest videos. I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping.